Mom, this one's for you. Hello, I'm Dan Ash, President and CEO of the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. Happy World Lemur Day. And on behalf of AZA and all of our 240 accredited members worldwide, congratulations to our friends at the San Francisco Zoo. I'm sure Maki is so, so happy to be back home. And let's continue to work to make him even happier by ensuring that his wild relatives continue to have a great home in Madagascar. You can help by visiting and supporting the San Francisco Zoo. And when you do, tell Maki that Dan says, Salama. Director of the San Francisco Zoo and Gardens. And today is World Lemur Day, a day that conservationists set aside to highlight the plight of the lemur and the island Madagascar. But today at San Francisco Zoo and Gardens, we get to celebrate the safe return of our lemur, Maki. And I am pleased to report that after a few days of distress and anxiety, he's returning to his normal self and is hanging out with the dominant female in our lemur exhibit. And I'll sure you tell you who that is. <laughs> um, and while there may not be a lot to celebrate on the eve of Halloween, Maki's return is. This community rallied so quickly to recover him within 48 hours. Not only our local community expressed and showed heroism, but even our friends in New York. Young people in New York singing songs to Maki, and we even got a clip on Saturday Night Live. So thank you, Maki, for that. But speaking of community, it wouldn't be without going to say thank you to our mayor and to our local police force who quickly brought Maki back to us. Now, as I mentioned, there's a dominant female lemur in this exhibit, and her name is London. We named her when there was a superstar supervisor named London Breed. Um, and it's with great pride and joy and gratitude I welcome Mayor London Breed here today. Well, the first thing I asked Tanya when I found out that one of the lemurs was missing was, was it London? <laughs> um, and we are so glad that Maki is back. And it is amazing how much the community rallied around trying to make sure that Maki was found because many of us know the significance of this exhibit and how lemurs have become extinct over the years and our goal, an endangered species, I'm sorry. And our goal here is to make sure um, that we continue to provide a sanctuary, a place so that 
kids and, and, and people alike could learn about uh, lemurs and learn about their history and their significance and their uniqueness. That's why I'm glad you named the Lemur London because I feel like I'm one of those unique persons too. Um, I'm here with our state senator, Scott Weiner. So glad that he was able to join us. And in fact, um, I want to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Lippman and the Lippman family uh, for their generous contribution, which uh, I know Mr. Lippman is going to talk in a little bit. Uh, but we want to make sure that uh, what happened to Maki doesn't happen to other lemurs in this exhibition here. Uh, so, and, and, and I also want to take this opportunity because you know, when the story first broke about Maki being found, it was because this incredible kid spotted Maki. And I mean, just imagine being, you know, a kid and looking and saying, Mommy, Daddy, look, it's a lemur. Like, it is amazing. Uh, the Trend family is with us here today, but the superstar of the Trend family is James. And so I want to take this opportunity because even though he's being shy right now, uh, to just say thank you so much, James. We are so grateful to you. Uh, what you did took a lot of courage and also just paying attention to what's going on and bringing it to the attention of folks because you knew it was important. And so, James, I'm so happy to meet you here today and I wanna do something very special. Your sister Lauren can come up too if she wants. Now, I know this is not an actual stuffed lemur, but we got some other great things for you. As you enjoy the day with your family and your sister, your mom and your dad uh, in the zoo, all of these people here, we are so grateful to you. And so on behalf of the city and county of San Francisco, I wanted to give you a very special certificate of honor from the city thanking you for helping to rescue Maki. here to thank the Lippmans. This is the largest outdoor lemur exhibit in the country. Now we uh, are pleased to announce and thank the Lippmans for a multi-million dollar gift that will quadruple the size of this exhibit and will bring the animals and the exotic plants of Madagascar here. I can't underscore that Madagascar is an island off of Africa in dire, dire straits. The animals on Madagascar will not make it through our lifetime. So having a facility and exhibit like this, it, it's just amazing. Amazing for all of us in conservation, and I thank the Lippmans. So if I can welcome Mr. Lippman here today, somewhere, here he is. 
thank uh, the mayor, Tanya, uh, that came up with those kind of words. That was very nice. I appreciate that. Did anybody see the New York Times article on lemurs last Sunday? Lemurs are considered the most endangered animal group in the world. This is mostly because of habitat destruction brought about by climate change and the historical uh, farming methods of its mostly agrarian society. Many lemur species are extinct or have been pushed to the edge of extinction. In, in 2002, the, uh, the uh, San Francisco Zoo built the world's largest outdoor lemur habitat. And you can now see approximately 20 lemurs of different species, of several different species. My wife, Marie, my brother, David, and I were fortunate to have been the lead donors. To be candid, at that time, I only had a limited interest in lemurs in Madagascar. However, the forest stimulated my interest. Marie and I talked a lot about going to Madagascar, and finally about 10 years ago, we actually went. And uh, fun fact, Madagascar is the furthest landmass on Earth from San Francisco. It is almost exactly halfway around the world. And try getting there, it's not easy. Uh, when we were there, we were able to see several species of lemurs, including Safox, which is the most evolutionary advanced lemur species. But Madagascar is so much more than lemurs. Because it is a very large island, which has not been attached to a landmass for a long time, like Australia, it has developed its own unique e ecosystems. We toured the desert and the tiny forest in the south and the forest in the north. A large majority of its flora and fauna does not exist naturally anywhere else in the world. We thought it would be a great idea for the zoo to have a Madagascar center, which could help educate the Bay Area about this unique place on Earth. Happily for us, the zoo was very interested. First, the zoo was able to obtain two safox to exhibit. And if you go back, and if you have a little time today and you get a chance, they're behind the building over there. They are some, they have some of the most entertaining animals you will ever see, and they're memorable to look at. They, they really are exciting animals. Um, they are so expressive and so interesting as they leap 20 feet or more from limb to limb. Next, a few years later, we began to work on a Madagascar center that would contain numerous examples of flora and fauna of Madagascar. Plants for mammals, birds, reptiles, and, and amphibians, fish, insects, chameleons, and other animals have, have been created. Plant life, such as baobab trees, bushes, grasses, and more will be included as we will represent sub-ecosystems found on the island. We presently are under construction and hope to have much completed by next summer. More will be added over time. Our eventual goal is to have located at the San Francisco Zoo the world's best example of the Malagasy ecosystem outside of the island of, Ma of Madagascar. My hope is to educate as many people as possible of the uniqueness, beauty, and importance of Madagascar. I particularly want to reach young people as they are our future. Is there better living proof than James? I mean, he recognized the lemur. It's just phenomenal. I mean, to me, that tells me everything that I want for this um, center here. Anyway, hopefully people will care about conserving this truly unique world treasure. Madagascar is well worth preserving. Well, uh, thank you very much, and glad all you have come today. And I think Tanya has some. Maybe it's my turn to turn you over. To okay. Yeah, I'm actually I'm dressing up as Maki, not just any uh, lemur. I, I've done a giraffe the last few Halloweens, so I thought it would be good to shake it up. And uh, what better way to do it this year than uh, Maki. And James, thank you so much. James. For, uh, it shows that, you know, our kids are, sometimes we uh, people fret about the state of education, but our kids are pretty, they're pretty darn smart, and they know what they're doing. And, and so, James, you really were heroic, so thank you. Um, and uh, tomorrow, uh, dressed as uh, Maki, I will be with our mayor, who if anyone knows the mayor, she is quite dominant, so we can really, uh, we can have you like Maki. <laughs> um, so this is, uh, this is amazing, and thank you to the Lippman family for your incredible support. I actually uh, did my undergraduate work at Duke University, which is the other sort of PowerPoint in the, uh, in the, in the U.S. Uh, for, uh, for lemurs. Uh, and this is so important because when we look at what's happening in Madagascar, uh, which frankly is also happening 
in the Amazon and in other parts of the world is we are allowing massive deforestation, which is just debilitating so many ecosystems. And then on top of climate change, um, it is going to become exponentially more destructive. And this is just another reminder that we only have one planet uh, and we need to take care of it. And we need to stop just talking about it as a society, uh, as a world, and we need to take action to save what we have. Um, it is just the idea that lemurs would go extinct is just unimaginable. Uh, I know we're gonna prevent that from happening, but we shouldn't have to prevent it from happening uh, this way. We should just take care of Mother Earth uh, and stop with the deforestation. Uh, so congratulations, Tanya, thank you for everything that you do with this amazing institution. I'm so happy that it's open again. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, and let's have a wonderful World Lemur Day. Thank you. We're really happy Maki's home. It took us a bit of work to get him back in with his family group, but we were able to do it because we have a dedicated team of professionals, all different disciplines working to get him back in to the group. We have veterinarians who were able to check him out, make sure he was healthy, didn't come home with any diseases. We have animal behaviorists who check in, see how he's doing behaviorally, and of course we have our dedicated animal care specialists who watch him constantly, and make sure he gets his appropriate diet, gets his supplements, and we were able to get him stabilized and back in with the group, and we're happy as heck that he's back. I'm standing here in this concrete pit, excited to help introduce you to the expansion of the Lippman Family Madagascar Center. This, this particular project is going to link together this whole former discovery center with the lemur forest to my right into no longer a concrete place, but a place of park that's going to add 14 new species from the Madagascar ecosystem to a integrated environment and habitat where we can help uh, promote animal wellness conserve these valuable species and connect with the larger community lessons of why environments matter and how ecosystems work. And so with your help, this place will be one of the most green spots in our wonderful zoo. Hi, I'm San Francisco artist Henry Jackson, I'm creator and producer of the video and sound installation here at the San Francisco Zoo called Madagascar Wonder and Peril. Francisco Zoo and the donors Barry and Marie Littman believe that by utilizing an artistic approach to bring awareness to conservation and wildlife education, uh, that art can provide uh, a At the San Francisco Zoo and Gardens, our mission is the three C's, connect, care, and conserve. Hi, I'm Johnya Peterson, CEO and Director of San Francisco Zoo and Gardens. The island of Madagascar is in crisis, a crisis unknown to many of our zoo visitors. Experts predict that in 30 years, the wildlife will no longer exist. We here at San Francisco Zoo have invested our expertise in the primates of Madagascar. Much like our world-class, award-winning African savanna, we hope to recreate Madagascar for our zoo visitors so that they are immersed in the flora and fauna of this very special island of Madagascar. At the new Lippmann Family Madagascar exhibit, the zoo visitor will encounter a three-story reproduction of the unique and awesome baobab tree, 360-degree lemur condominiums, an elevated walkway with eye-to-eye -eye lemur interaction, and if you're lucky, views of the Pacific Ocean. We hope by investing in a $7 million expansion, we can tear down some of these old concrete walls and cages and convert this area into an immersive multi-species exhibit that enhances, attracts, and inspires our visitors to conserve the magical wildlife of Madagascar. Thanks to the generosity of the Lippmann family and our entire San Francisco Zoo community, we can continue to invest in state-of-the-art exhibits that connect visitors to wildlife so that they care about wildlife and ultimately conserve.
Madagascar is under threat with a devastating effect. Probably the largest is slash and burn agriculture, both legal and illegal logging. And it's probably the largest threat to the forest here. Uh, charcoal production, a lot of mining activities. So. Approximately 45,000 miners has occurred in the eastern Madagascan jungle. Uh, small scale artisanal gold mining and large scale industrial mining projects. Species are being pushed to the brink of extinction. We can say those lemurs from extinction. Um, I, mean, I mean, right now we're, we're in the biggest mass extinction crisis since the dinosaurs. Everything in Madagascar is special and found nowhere else. But you have to try, because if you don't try, it's, nothing happens.